Hi, I'm Moshe Kruin from Cadence, and today I'm going to talk about the MIPI Alliance interfaces. The year is about to end, and it's a good opportunity to look backward and see which specification came out and which one were actually adopted by the market. The MIPI Alliance is a standard body, consists of many companies uh, gathered together to define specification for the mobile phones from the display, the camera sensor, all the way to the, to the RF and the storage. Let's review the recent specification and see how they got adopted in the market. The most popular protocols from the MIPI lines are CSA2 and DSI, the camera and display sensor interfaces. Both of them got new additions this year. CSA2.0 came up, CSA2.0 revision, and DSI came up with a new spec called DSI2. Well, CSA2 2.0 is still hasn't been ratified. We already see the adoption in the market and the good traction it gets. The DSI2, on the other end, still waiting to be adopted, and apparently the current DSI version running on the DeFi Phi is good enough for most of the practical usage outside. So this A2 is still a question mark whether or not it's going to be adopted. Other protocols that are uh, on the MIPI offering are the M5, which serve the Unipro, and ultimately the UFS, the universal flash storage. Now, the M5 and Unipro were designed to be a generic protocols that can serve many different applications. Google Ara, which uh, aimed to create a new mobile phone that is purely modular, was leveraging M5 and Unipro to use for all the different interfaces. However, it got discontinued, probably being too ambitious and impractical, and M5 and Unipro right now are used only by UFS. So UFS does get traction, and we see new protocols coming out, 2.1 and 3.0 in the future. But Unipro and M5 serving only this vertical market, and they are not getting adopted anywhere else. So that's not exactly the purpose of it, but still there is some adoption for Unipro pulled by by UFS. Other protocols that came out this year are I2C and Sunwire 1.1. I2C, a new sensor interface, released this year and being adopted widely. We see many companies going and implement it in their device, see the benefits over I2C and SPI, the very uh, mainstream and uh, kind of old protocols. So I2C is definitely getting a lot of traction. Sunwire 1.1 is also being adopted widely and replace all the audio, digital audio communication in a different mobile application. Lastly, MIPI Alliance announced just one month ago about the new specification for touch interface. The touch interface is going to be used on top of the I2C, which as we say, get a nice structure in the market. So we are quite optimistic that the touch interface that are just being defined these days would also get good traction probably in the next two years. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you on the next Whiteboard Wednesday.